64-year-old Dale Stoke Leather is behind bars after murdering his neighbours Jeffrey and Kimberly Watson. The incident occurred on the 11th of May 2022, located at 2386 Mallard Terrace South in Flippin, Arkansas. When Dale approached Jeffrey at the couple's home and offered to purchase their 2013 Ford pickup truck, when he refused to sell the truck, Dale became upset, so he pulled out a gun and fatally shot him. He then went to the back deck of the residence and shot his wife Kimberly. He also grabbed a knife and stabbed her to death before fleeing the scene. Officers responded to the property for a welfare check, and when they arrived, they found the couple's lifeless bodies, along with 9mm bullet casings they recovered from the scene. A Ford pickup truck was missing from the home, and the authorities questioned people in the neighbourhood. Dale, who lives nearby down the same road as the victims, was not questioned as he was not home. A relative provided detectives with Dale's phone number, and they pinged his location to an area in Houston, Texas. The authorities were also able to electronically monitor the missing truck, which was in close proximity to where the phone pinged. On the 16th of May, he was located and arrested in Sugarland, Houston. When they found Dale, he was in possession of the murder victim's truck, and there was a 9mm pistol in the vehicle. He allegedly said the pistol belonged to him, and admitted to killing the couple before stealing their pickup truck. On the 24th of May, he was extradited to the Marin County Jail in Arkansas, where he's held without bond. He's charged with aggravated residential burglary, theft of property and two counts of capital murder. 47-year-old Matthew Deadman has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder and armed criminal action after fatally shooting 57-year-old Joe Newburn. The incident occurred at around 12.49pm on the 28th of May 2022. Located near the historic courthouse, just of Ozark, Missouri's main town square, in the 100 block of West Church Street, first responders arrived at the scene on reports of gunfire, where they found Joe lying on the road suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to the Springfield Hospital, but died a short time later. While on scene, officers identified Matthew as the shooter, and took him into custody. The investigators said the victim and the shooter knew each other, However, they didn't release details on what led to the shooting. The authorities towed away the cars of both men for forensic analysis. Matthews held without bail at the Christian County Jail as the investigation into the matter continues. The Bailey decomposed body of 18-year-old Myrna Kasher has been found at the bottom of the creek bed after she'd been reported missing for a month. At around 2pm on the 28th of May 2022, Emergency services were called to the Green Valley Creek off Pitt Street in Canley Heights in the western suburbs of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia after receiving reports that her body had been found. The location was at the end of a dead-end street on the opposite side of a walking trail that follows the water's edge. It's lined by dense bush and trees which significantly reduces the visibility. Officers established a crime scene and began forensic examination of the surrounding area. Myrna was last seen when a family member dropped her off at a residential address on Kehillah Street in Fairfield Heights at around 8pm on the 28th of April, which is about a 10 minute drive from where her body was found. Police say that she made contact with the family a few days earlier, but she hadn't been seen since. One resident, Mr. Tabe, was shocked to learn through a group of young tradesmen working next door that a body had been discovered in the creek behind his house. He said it's so shallow down there, all mud and rubbish like trolleys, he goes to dirt when there's no rain. In recent weeks, however, there's been significant rainfall which has helped fill the creek. Police divers arrived at the scene to scale the secluded and muddy creek for any clues on how Myrna's body ended up there. The authorities said that the body was pretty decomposed after an extended period in the elements in the creek, after some pretty harsh weather conditions, adding that it's a really sad situation. Detectives are yet to confirm if they're treating a death as suspicious and whether any suspects have been identified. An autopsy is still pending, which will establish a cause of death as the investigation into the matter continues. 52-year-old Bryce Tacey killed his 44-year-old neighbour Jerry Anderson during a verbal altercation. The incident occurred at around 2.24pm on the 25th of May 2022, located outside along Loffett Road in Smith Township, Pennsylvania, when Bryce fired two shots, hitting the victim in the back and then in the back of the head while he was on his ride on mower. Bryce's mother contacted 911 to report that her son had just shot his neighbour. 
when first responders arrived, they announced Jerry dead at the scene. The SWAT team also responded to the property while Bryce barricaded himself inside his own home. He refused to come out for law enforcement for over 30 minutes. Eventually, the officials talked Bryce out of the home and placed him under arrest. Bryce's mother told the investigators that her son had called police several times over the years to report that Jerry was flying a drone over Bryce's home. Bryce's son told the police that he saw his dad shoot at Jerry. He said that his dad told him that I'm sorry, I love you, I love Graham, but it's been eight years of this before he started shooting Jerry.